hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to speak about this aspect of this whole story because as, like i always say whenever there's a story out there i always ask myself what can we take from it what lessons can we grab from it because whatever has, whatever has happened has happened but there's always something if there is nothing to gain from a story i hardly ever share stories like that i typically share stories that i feel like there's something for us to to grab so i want to speak on this aspect of um you know mubad's uh, absent mother you know um, i did a live video earlier today so I, I did a live video earlier today and i spoke a bit about it and uh, i want to emphasize on that again because i i, I really want couples to sit back and think about the action their actions and the consequences of their actions on their children but you know i have to be careful about mobile st story because we don't know why the mother was absent for 10 years we don't know so it could be this way or that way what do i mean by this way or that way because i saw an interview where they were asking the father uh, about the mother being absent, and he said this is the family i don't want to talk about it. living together in your relationship where in mama did that time <sighs> um I don't want to talk much about that because that is my family affairs. So he didn't say. So we don't know why. So whether he was the one that told woman if you ever near my children, some men do it. Let's be honest. Especially in an African culture where a lot of women may not know their rights to fight for to, to be in their children's lives. There are some cultures that even say once a marriage ends, the children belong to the father. Our culture actually say, as far as I know, most part of Nigeria says they see children as belonging to their fathers because a woman was married to come and produce children. That is the typical mentality. You understand? So when marriages end, the woman has to leave. So the, the access to children is only dependent on the, on the mercy or the kindness of the man. I'm not saying that's what happened in this case. What I'm basically trying to say is that it's hard for us to judge that case of absent mother without knowing exactly why she was absent so was she forced to be absent i've shared my own story here before but i'm not going to go too much into it basically when my parents split up i was raised by my father so my mother was absent in my life for many years right not by choice it was by force okay so we can't say because we don't know what happened in their own case we, like i'm saying okay let me say it again we can't start judging the father because we don't know if it was that was the situation if it was actually the woman that walked away and never looked back or at the same time we can't judge the mother because we don't know if if it, if it was the man that said don't dare come near this we don't know so we can't judge it but we can use this to speak to you and i and you know anybody watching this the message i want people to get from me because i i call myself a poster child or a child that i am one of those children that uh, was raised by one parent and missed out on the other one because let me tell you children can be raised by one parent but the other one had access so they kind of will know both parents they don't miss out on both parents okay the other scenario as well excuse me <clears throat> is whereby a marriage ends and a woman just moves on and never looks back some women do it they find a new relationship and they just move on and some women have the heart I'm not saying Mubad's mother did it. I'm just saying we do not know. And I will give another example. I have a, a cousin of mine that the, the mother and the father split up. And uh, the mother was allowed to t go with this girl until she, was, until she was worn. Just so that she can breastfeed and do all of those baby things. After the baby was uh, worn, they feel like, okay, no more breastfeeding, no more whatever. The child was taken from the woman. And because the culture says the children belong to their fathers. They will say, you know, when a woman comes and have children, that's why women would, uh, when the children are born, they are asking their father's name. The woman just came to contribute children, right? And this woman, actually, when it was time, this is my cousin. The mother handed over her child and never looked back. She wasn't prevented. She, was, she just didn't look back. She ended up getting married, had other children, and never looked back. You see, so there are different stories. So we don't know their case. And this is my cousin grew up not knowing. She went looking for her mother. And that was how she reconnected with her mother. She was the one going to look. The mother did not look for her. And when she reconnected, they become mother and child. She has no grudge against her mother. Nothing. She completely became her mother's child. As if nothing ever happened. So, I will emphasize again, we don't know more about the story. But let me come and speak. Let me now uh, come back to the area I want to speak about. Is As couples, when you can't tolerate each other anymore. And you know that this is it. You make up your mind there's no going back you don't ever want to be in a relationship no problem 
It is the two of you that broke up, not the children. Don't let the children suffer consequences of the actions of adults. Unfortunately, I'm saying it again because nobody will still miss it. I am not talking about their own case, Mubad's case, because we do not know what happened. But I want to speak. Why am I speaking about it? Because even as old as, okay, he's not that old, but like he was up to the age of 27. He wrote that song, according to him, during COVID, right? So that was about two, three years ago. Let's say 2020, 2020. Yeah, 2020, 21, right? So he was 27 when his life ended. So he wrote a song, let's say, let's say two years ago, okay? So at the age of 25, he was, he was able to put, put it in his writing. For 10 years, and see mommy for it to still be on his mind it shows you that the hurt or the feeling was still there i watched a video the other day on facebook about this guy from one of these arab countries that the parents split up and the father took the child i think he even told him that the mother was gone right like dead and he was at this show and in the process in this show they brought out his mother and now he's in his thirties, and he cried like a baby. That was a man. I was still yearning for his mother at that age it's by yourself let's not you understand it's both ways it's not only mothers right <clears throat> it's both ways my message is this when your anger has gotten so hot a hot against your ex whatever your situation remember that the two of you they fight it is the children are not fighting with their father they're not fighting with their mother don't bring them in between. Don't allow your grievances or your grudge against each other. Or how do I say? Don't rub it off on the children. They have their own life to live. I made a video. I've made several videos in the past and I keep emphasizing the same thing, right? It's like a triangle. So imagine the child at one end of that triangle. So if the mother, father and child, if mother, father split up, it is their own end of the triangle that is broken. If that makes sense. That's cut off. But this connection, mother and child, no, it is these two that broke up. But mother and child connection, the child did not divorce his father or, or mother. A father and child connection, they, they have their own connection. So when it, it breaks up from this angle, it goes from being a triangle for that child. It should go, it should go from being a triangle to becoming a V. The child the father, the mother. This end cut off, but let this child enjoy. It's just like the basic things in life. Food, home, shelter, home, you know, education, basic human need. The child, you see, if person and papa don't die, if somebody's parents are dead or whatever, it's okay, you know that they, they died. Even people that their parents died when they were little, they have their own pain as well that they may be able to share. But imagine that the parent is alive, but the child had no access. Simply because those people allowed their grievances against each other to destroy or damage their children. Even me, I can, I, if I narrate my story, it will, it's as if it happened today. I remember going to school, especially on the first day of school. For example, when I started uh, uh, secondary school, and all these children, their mothers, you know, typical Nigerian way, is mothers that would take children to school, and uh, their mothers would hang at the window, and uh, I don't like all this uh, memory, it's just too deep, right? But the other your classmates their mother has uh, the window their mothers want to come and know what seat they would sit their mothers and i used to look at the other people and feel sad for myself because my mother wasn't there i can i remember it as if it happened yesterday and i used to look at those children and feel so jealous that they had their mothers but i didn't i'm almost small small i don't dare approach 50 and i can still feel it my message is this don't damage your children. I have been saying it for the longest time and I will say it again. Broken homes do not have to be broken lives. I remember as a grown adult, I was already maybe 22, 23. And um, 
I was watching uh, Fumi Yoda on that uh, morning dawn or whatever. There was one program she used to present uh, on NTA. And uh, she was talking about well, when the parents broke up, you know, when we go to my mother, when we, something like that, when we go to my mother, when we go to my father, I was like, wow. I was blown away by the fact that they had the option to go from here to there. Children should have that option. It is not a, it is not a privilege. It is a basic right. That is their mother, not your mother. That is their father, not your father. So as a wife or ex-wife, your children's father is their father, not yours. You have, shouldn't have the right or you don't have a right to damage that relationship. If the father ended up, if the, if the father ends up being a rolling stone or a useless father, that's okay. That is what he did for himself with his relationship with his children. That is his choice he made. But don't cut it off. Don't give the, don't prevent the child from having the opportunity to know their father. Right? Okay, if a father is destroyed, do you understand? If there are extreme cases where a father or a mother may not be allowed to see their children. Extreme cases. Especially when the child's life is in danger. Apart from that, the same thing. Ex-husband, ex-whatever, your ex-boyfriend, whatever the situation is. That mother and that child, that is the child's mother, not your mother. You shouldn't have the right and you don't have the right to disrupt that relationship. It's not your mother. And the funny thing is everybody loves to have relationships with their own fathers and mothers. And when it comes to their own children, they want to rob their children off. They want to rob them of the basic things that they themselves enjoyed. I'm saying it because the lives can be damaged by actions like this. Whether, you know, Mubad, there are some other, when you look at Mubad sometimes, I'm like, you see sometimes when a child feels, they look, they, there are tiny things that can make a child feel inf inferior. A lot of things. I remember as a young girl, you know, the fact that my friends or classmates, their mothers, it makes me feel less. And you can see that those ones that your mothers and their fathers are, you'll be looking at them and you envy them. And in your head, you feel less than them because they have what you do not have. So now I'm looking at Mubad, I'm like, the way he's too, you know, the way he's like, too, too quiet and shy and the way he is, you don't know if maybe it maybe affected him in one way or the other. You don't know. So don't damage your children. That's the message I'm preaching with this video. I'll say it again. I don't know the circumstances surrounding why the mother was absent, but I'm just emphasizing on the effect, the consequences, or consequences on the children when things like this happen. There's so much I could say, but I just want to keep it short. This is basically my message, and hopefully somebody can grab something from this. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye.